Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashmita and I hope you all are doing well. And yes, I will be reacting to a couple of comebacks that I missed out on. Uh, so there are three videos that I will be reacting to today. First is Jessie's Zoom MV. So, so excited to listen to a Jessie song once again. Second is 17. They released a single which is called Dar Plus In Darling official mv so absolutely you know stoked to listen to the song and another group uh who's i mean who have never reacted to this purple kiss they are from rbw uh the same company that mamamu and uh you know who us belong to so their song is called meme m meme m meme m okay will will understand when i listen to the song so yes these are the three videos that i will be you know watching right now and of course sharing my thoughts so let's start with jesse's zoom and then i'll move on to 17 and then purple kiss so yeah let us begin lights camera action i see you looking at my p i see Okay, I love this vibe. I love this vibe. And you know, I this is the kind of song like like Jesse gives me something really badass. Like I, I wanna you know, because you don't get these kind of songs a lot, a lot, uh, when it comes to the badass factors from a lot of female vocalists. But she is so unapologetic. Like you don't see such unapologetic lyrics a lot. Like the last one I can recall is Tomboy by Idol. That's that's one badass song which I loved, absolutely loved. Like it has it has that vibe. Uh, so yes, and this, I mean, Jessie though always gives me that vibe. She's so like, ah, yeah, yeah, you zoom in, you zoom out. Really like the, uh, you know, the instrumentals, the beat drops are nice. And the singing part, I specifically liked the singing part in the song. More than the rap, usually I really enjoy Jessie's rap more. But here is the singing part that is completely flooring me. So yeah, let's, let's go back a little. I want to listen to that singing part. Oh. The 
singing part is really cool. like something else man okay let me stop this here i mean did you guys see the freaking screen presence this woman is absolutely on another level when it comes to being and it's not like you know she even tries to be like a badass or something it's just that's just her her being her you know that you you would find that you would find there would be so many instances where you see that oh you probably you are not that badass but you try to be which is great i mean you know fake it till you make it ha huh? you know fake it till you actually get that confidence but this woman is just so freaking confident in her skin it just shows off it just shows off i like i get that confidence boost when i when i watch her like her moves are amazing you know she's just being so chill and gangsta i love that and just the singing part here i think it's, it's like her flow and all of that is great and i always enjoy her rap uh but here it was the singing that was really nice that was really nice like ah uh, when, when she said uh, i'm a bad then it's like bitch bitch oh that that part was and it suits her like these are the kind of lyrics honestly it just suits her you know just she's embodying this song the personality everything man everything you know of course her her most plays like i love i think for me my most played jessie song is no no nana uh that is like literally my most played song so but and her vibe is like not everybody would like vibe with her songs but you cannot deny like the screen presence where you know she's saying our zoom in zoom out i know you're watching me and you know all of those things all of those things so oh wow I cannot get over the singing part, huh? For me, I think as a song, I really enjoyed the song with the visuals. I I want to listen to the song, uh, without the visuals, so I can really make a decision whether I like. Right now, I'm in two minds whether I really like. I overall enjoyed the vibe, but I don't know if I'll be like completely vibing if I don't have these visuals because Jesse, you know, just just seeing her and you know vibing to the song and just carrying the song. it makes a difference because visual representation always makes a difference so you know while watching it there are many songs like that when i watch it and when i you know listen to the song while watching it i love it but when i listen to it on my own i probably don't jam with it that much so, so, so i am literally in two minds with this particular song though i really like the singing part and overall vibe wise the song is nice it's just that i don't know if i really love it at this point so but that's just my honest opinion because yeah I mean, you can disagree or agree or whatever. <laughs> uh, but overall, I love Jessie. She's she's amazing. She's amazing. So yes, those were my thoughts, guys. Those were my thoughts on Zoom. Uh, now, oh, this song! I'm so excited to listen to a Seventeen song. Uh, I I probably will do a guide reaction of Seventeen. I don't know when. uh because right now i'm more focusing like on the music part uh except with bts and blackpink there for there i am pro- i you know watch their content which is not music related but for other groups i first focus on the music part because i think with bts and blackpink i'm, I'm mostly like because i i've consumed their music i feel with blackpink i've consumed literally all of their music so uh so i'm actually you know waiting for the comeback announcement and with bts also of course now their comeback is happening <gasps> so excited yes oh so excited so of course with with bts in bts's case it's mostly the other compilation content that's why i consume that more uh but with other groups i am i don't know when i'll do the guide reaction i really want to look at a 17 guide but i don't know when because i feel i should first you know explore their music a little bit more in depth uh so yeah let's let's watch darling official mv oh like a lovey dovey song 17 always gives me this fresh beautiful happy vibe all the time 
all the time. Just look at the beautiful visuals. You know without you, I'm so lonely. When you're not here, and I want one calling. Into your heat again, I'm diving. Darling, you, darling, you, baby. Fighting around the circles, where is the. It's an English singer? It's an English singer? Wait. I did not know this. I did not know this. You know without you, I'm so lonely. When you're not here, and I want one calling. Into your heat again, I'm diving. Darling, Look you, at the darling you, baby. Fighting around the circles, where is the way out? Ooh. Cause I know that our love was hotter than the sun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the taste of this tequila I'm drinking now. would be a little distracting but the way this build up builds up okay with that amazing falsetto and that suddenly it becomes low i don't know who's singing this particular line but Once wow I Some sort of apocalypse happened. Oh, what happened? Hey, please tell me they're going to continue the storyline. I want the next part. What? What? What a beautiful song. I love the. Oh, oh my God. First, I want to give this video a like. So beautiful. I. I don't know. I this song sort of reminded me see this is a song that I don't know if they're longing I feel first I thought it's a, like a love song but it's more like a longing where they have probably done something wrong the guy has probably done something wrong and the girl has already left but they are they are in their own this is what I made out from the video that they are all of them who have wronged their respective partners and all of that okay 
she has left or he has left whatever so that person has already left theek hai so and they are in their own illusion that probably this person is going to come back if you know they keep persuading you know the other person and they'll be like ha i'm going to treat you right and i feel lonely without you and stuff like that but because the the video is so colorful and all they are stuck in their own illusion but but at the end after the bridge when they fall down they are in this rubble and all of that like a very apocalyptic scene which is happening so that is why that is the actual state of their mind they actually built walls around it and made it look very lovely dovey and colorful but that's not the case that's not the case this is actually a very dark and dingy place and they were all hurt and stuff like that so technically it is a sad sad song technically it is a sad song with a happy vibe that's what i got i could be totally wrong but this is the like literally the for, after first time i'm watching this video so at first though i did not know i did not know that this was going to be an english song i had no idea but oh wow just the vocals are so beautiful i want to know who pulled in that falsetto and then brings it to the lower voice that was that the same person seemed to me like that seemed to me like that i could be i anyway i'll find out if whenever i watch the lyric video because in lyric video you get the no a lot of people tell me that it's always not correctly like the vocals are not correctly placed uh sometimes they make a mistake so so beautiful this this video was absolutely gorgeous to look at and the vocal i loved how soft that's why i feel yeah it's on the sadder side because this the song is very like the vocals were very soft even though there are falsettos and all of that the notes are quite high in couple of places but overall it's a, the song is on the softer side it's pretty soft they're very big they're not literally you know screaming like screaming their heart out it's it's very very you know on the lower side like they are they are really sad they 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 are in pain that's how they have sung this song which is really nice the instrumentals are also so beautiful they are not heavy to your ears but still gives you a very happy vibe i don't know why i got reminded of my my when i when i was watching the song even when i saw the video also sort of reminded me of it except the ending part where everything falls apart so i feel that everything has already fallen apart in their lives but it's it's more like you know they they created this virtual or goody goody place in their minds that yeah everything is fine and you know the person is going to come back then so but that's not happening uh, yeah so but they're actually broken but beautiful i love this this was really nice this is a surprise this is probably one of their like because i've listened to very limited discography of 17 but uh, probably one of my top would be my top picks just in terms of the melody the instrumental their vocals all of it even the video if i put all of these factors together this is probably one of their best uh, put together videos i actually like it more than rock with you though i think in terms of song i enjoy rock with you more like that is like even though my first preference is always like a mid tempo or a slower song and but i don't know rock with you is a such a good song man just i don't know i love that song too much it's it's a beautiful song rock with you so yes but very happy with this as well really really happy with this one as well uh so yeah that was 17's darling so beautiful ah oh, so beautiful and yeah now i'm really really looking forward to react to this group because this is my first time reacting to this particular group purple kiss it's a girl group and their song meme m let us listen so this came like 2 weeks back one to uh, seven members <laughs>
start. Her vocals, her vocals, whoever she is. After this, after this. Her. Oh, I love her voice. That's a cool arrangement. I love how this was arranged. This, the beats. Oh, nice, 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 nice. And now I, I was like, okay, okay, yeah. Give me something different. Give me something different. What else? What? Else? Oh, then it like totally switches it up. Oh, nice. Let me just start it again. See, this is a group I'm reacting to for the first time, so I wanna listen to this again. That girl with the pink highlights in the front, oh, her vocals, that was nice. She was amazing. So see, so, so this is like a badass song. I wish their makeup was a little bit more loud because that's, their makeup is very soft. That's probably the only sort of critique I have in terms of how the video is looking because the song is, the instrumentals are so heavy. The song is loud. The outfits are nice. I like their outfit, but I wish they would have done a much more louder makeup. Really would have suited the vibe. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Memory storage. Like, like this is this is a very soft makeup for a song like this. Because I was expecting a song which is a little, just looking at you know their looks and styling i was expecting a more softer kind of song but it just like shook me so i was like okay maybe give them a more badass kind of makeup like red lip like dark. when i say badass i mean and when i say loud makeup i mean like darker lipstick more like highlight the eyes more maybe a darker eyeshadow something like that something like that uh what comes in my mind is you know i've only reacted to one song of this group card gunshot that's that's more like you know so the kind of makeup that the girls had in gunshot that kind of makeup that's what i mean by being a little more badass and loud You're listening to the kind of song this is just just so so gritty and dark i wish the styling was like that that's just i don't know now when i'm thinking about it more it's standing out for me more that their makeup is so soft here like <laughs> out of a control I want to listen to this entire verse. I want to listen to this entire verse. Look at my... 
I want to see how many switches I've had. First switch. Second switch. Third switch. So before the hook comes in, there are four switches in the beat. Good. Not bad. I want to know like her voice. something this song suddenly reminded me with so many switches and all of that it actually reminded me of uh, no diggity by one us with like that intense beat and all of that it has the similar vibe but like how no diggity is like how fierce that song is the song song to song this is also as fierce as no diggity i just wish they had used more poppy colors like really really poppy colors because it's such a badass song it's probably the only gripe i have with this mv not the song but the mv and their styling like yeah this, this is what i want from this video like i want like fire to be everywhere i want more of reds and yellows and even if it's blue like give me that intense blue so that's what i want if if you have not seen the no diggity video by one us like it's a really banger of a song so yeah i probably wanted that kind of vibe in this song probably yeah because the vibe is similar song to song it's a really really heavy tempo and a really badass song so yeah this is what i want yes so they're, they're giving me that at the end, not at the beginning, like at the fag end of the song. Yeah. This is what I wanted in the whole video. This is exactly what I wanted in the whole video, like crazy transitions and like more intensity. Love the way she's saying I'm in control, like her voice, wow. Sticking out to my ear. Inside the brain. Or they could have just made the purple extremely poppy. That also would have worked. Why do I go? Why did I get reminded of No Diggity? Like the song, song arrangement, I don't know why. It just, it just felt like, oh, this is, this is a female version of No Diggity. Really, really, uh, because that is a, such a loved song by me. I love that song. One of my favorite songs from last year, actually. So yeah, very, very impressed with this group. Purple Kiss. So I could see like the, I can understand from that perspective, like why the purple and the lavender color was like. But I, this is just, that's the only, I, I'm going to just say it for one last time because I've already said it like repeatedly, <laughs> is that I probably would have, you know, given them a more intense look for a song like this, a very intense look because more with a little bit more accessories and I don't know, just 
just to make them look more i don't know uh, flashy in a way maybe maybe so yes but the song oh really love the arrangement of the song like initially i was like okay okay where is this going i want to see i want to see and then oh when she says i am in control and that was like i don't know who who that female is for i don't know anybody's name here because I, this is a group i'm reacting to for the first time so yeah very very impressed with the song arrangement though and the vocals very very heavy very powerful i don't know how long it has been since they debuted but uh, this is a comeback song i'm guessing this is a comeback song not a debut song but they have impressed me they have really impressed me so yeah very happy to you know uh, check out a new group today very very happy along with two groups not groups one solo artist and one group that i already am aware of so yeah that was the reaction to mam 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 nice i really like the melody of the song is also very good i think i what i what impressed me the most here is the arrangement i don't know if they have given any credits um no just the links just the links i feel that the way uh the song has been arranged it's so freaking catchy it's so like i don't know it's very very catchy in the sense that there are certain parts in the song which has which really sticks out and it's going to really really play in your head the way they have arranged the song that's why i feel that this is the 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 most impressive part of the song like vocals and all are great but the way whoever has arranged the instrumentals of the song i mean deserves the biggest applause from my end i feel so yeah absolutely phenomenal great that was the reaction guys to purple kiss uh me 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 so yeah those were the you know reactions to the three songs hope you guys enjoyed i want to know your thoughts on all the three songs please share them in the comments below and yes very very excited to you know uh now uh, i'm planning of course whatever comebacks are going to happen i will do and with the regular reactions of compilations that i do I'm, i will do those but i'm actually very very excited to um, you know do a little bit more in depth discography of groups like dreamcatcher so excited uh, for the album listening for that so look forward to that and other groups couple of girl groups that i want to get into uh, probably this this month i will i will just explore more of the girl groups uh, like luna i reacted to only one song i should you know look into more of their discography maybe next month onwards i'll look into boy groups let's see i have this is just in my mind right now also i will be sharing the q and a video this week so look forward to that as well and yeah that was the reaction guys for today those that was the video hope you guys enjoyed and yeah i will see you soon on my next one bye you are the cause of my euphoria.